to supplement. So three things. One is it's a systemic approach. So many of our supplements are targeted supplements. Um, they target the brain or they target the eye. Vitality targets energy. So many of our supplements are targeted approaches. But y span is systemic because it has ingredients in it that can benefit many different systems in our body. So it benefits skin, it benefits brain, it benefits heart, it benefits muscle. It is developed from our uh, gene expression um, technology and our experiments that we've done and a lot of the work from LifeGen um, is really built into this supplement. And Rick Weindrick, who is one of those guys from LifeGen, he spent his career over 30 scientific years understanding the impact of nutritional intervention on aging. So that's what they brought to the table. Um, and then the other interesting thing about it is the actual ingredients. The, the, um, the source of the ingredients, but wh where these ingredients come from, the, the blend of natural ingredients, because it's difficult to obtain through the diet alone. So I try to eat a healthy diet. Um, it's not always possible, you know, traveling, so you can take Life Pack. Life Pack's a great supplement to ensure that you're getting all your micronutrients. But the difference with Y-Span is that it contains ingredients from things that I wouldn't get in my natural healthy diet. So, so ingredients that I don't normally consume in, in my diet. So it's something that I can't really, I can't get from just eating, eating well, right? So the science behind Y-SPAN is that we have a way, and I've talked a little bit about this, but our body has its own defenses. We're quite good at resisting aging. And we're, I mean, it, it blows my mind that biologically we can heal ourselves. You know, you cut yourself and it heals, it's amazing. Um, muscles can do the same thing. Brain can do the same thing, it's slower. But our body has the, its own built-in ability to mend itself. And what happens is that we go around, we live our lives, things get hectic, and unfortunately we overwhelm our own biological ability to fix, fix things. And when that happens, those the things that we can't fix get left behind and they eventually accumulate and cause, cause aging to occur, right? So the purpose of Y-SPAN is to help our body better, is to build up those defenses, to build up the body's own ability to repair and resist aging. So our aging protection mechanisms are the body's ways of fighting off and maintaining resistance to aging, right? It's our, it's our naturally inbuilt ability to do this. And we use our science to help identify blended ingredients that boost up our own natural abilities to resist aging. So that's, that's what y stands about. And here are um, those aging defense mechanisms, the six listed here, things like repair mechanisms, renewal mechanisms, metabolism, inflammation's a really big one that's involved in aging, um, protection mechanisms, stress response mechanisms. These are all mechanisms that are incredibly susceptible to um, getting overwhelmed if we you know, pile on too much stress and pile on too much, too many damaging things. Um, and then we have, this is one of the final slides, because I wanted to talk about skincare. Um, and it doesn't show very well. I don't know if you want to turn the lights down or whether you'll just believe me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so this is a clinical study that Zoe did for us. Zoe, I pointed Zoe out. Um, and these guys were taking Y-SPAN 
and this was an eight-week clinical study. So this is an internal study, but we were looking at the effect that Y-SPAN has on skin. Now, we had a big debate um, amongst the scientists before we ran this study, because um, when, when we do our personal care studies and, and we're putting product on the face, we run our clinical studies for 12 weeks. And we need to run our studies for 12 weeks in order to see any benefit, to get statistically significant benefits. So we, we were all scratching our head and thinking, well, how long do we need to run this study for if we're taking a supplement and we're waiting for it to have an effect on the skin? And if you look at the scientific literature, a common length of time to, to run these types of studies is six months. For you, so it's commonly in the scientific literature,